Woo Ting keyboards have been properly glazed, so I'm gonna approach my review differently. While the headline might remain the same as what you're used to hearing, the best gaming keyboard, which it's labeled as for a reason. By the end of this video, I'm gonna explain why I personally would recommend building one of these keyboards from Woo Ting rather than buying a pre built 60 HE or perhaps a larger 80, as it's truly the Hall Effect switches and the software support for them that's their greatest asset the best feature. And despite having some of the best pre-built out of the box structural rigidity which comes into play typing, it still leaves a little bit to be desired in my opinion, and that is where the massive aftermarket rears its ugly or beautiful head, ugly for your wallet, beautiful for what's going to be sitting on your desk, rears its sultry noggin so you can disassemble that keyboard if you bought one pre-built, and replace the plastic bits and bobs that don't feel the best to make it it the best of both worlds, typing, but also what everyone calls a wooting keyboard, the best gaming keyboard. Because the 60HE Plus, which we are going to take a look at a stalker, they're killer keyboards, but they do leave a little bit to be desired. A little flavor left untasted on the palette if you come from a background of custom mechanical keyboards built for the purpose of feeling perfect while typing. Without further ado, we're going to review a stock 60HE, which has commonly been referred referred to as the best gaming keyboard you can buy, and we're also going to build one and then compare the two. A quick disclaimer for my audience, doesn't have to be quick, take your time with it. A disclaimer to my audience, the Stallions and Stallionettes, this keyboard was sent for review by Wooting. However, all the custom components, everything on screen here in this B-roll, I did purchase with my own money, and then a couple of weeks after making this order from Wooting, I got a response from the Wooting representative that I had emailed previously, and they said, hey, we'd love to send one out for your comprehensive review. So the stalker was sent from Wooting, and the custom parts, including the actual board to build the keyboard was purchased with my own hard-earned shekels. So I just wanted to let you know where these products came from, but as always, that doesn't sway my opinion whatsoever. The company does not get an early preview. I haven't been paid to say or not say anything about the product, and if there's any con shortcomings or areas of improvement, you're gonna hear about it. So these companies make better products over time. So in case you've never heard of Wooting, you don't know who these handsome gentlemen are that deliver supreme cream. These fellows here are making some great keyboards. Well, that's cool. If you hover over them, it gives you their name and get a little more information about them. Kevin, that's a great name. First of all, I absolutely love the website, our keyboards, our community. A lot of these keyboard companies that just try and shove a bunch of tech specs in your face right off the right off Jump Street. These guys are introducing themselves. They give you a firm handshake and then smack you over the head with the best gaming keyboard on the market. <laughs> I appreciate that. Also, I'm sure you've heard of Optimum, an absolute stallion of a tech reviewer. He has his own very clean aesthetic keyboard over here, which is a kind of a gray gunmetal matte black. Uh, damn. Yeah, that's sick. So the board that Wooting is most known for is going to be the 60HE, which is a 60% gaming keyboard. So pretty petite, pretty tiny. You are missing your F or function row. But if you want access to the majority of your mouse pad, this is the way you want to go. And what makes Wooting super special is they are to keyboards what Google kit was to controllers with bringing Hall Effect switches into the mainstream, although unlike with controllers where the main benefit of that is with long-term reliability, since stick drift is prevalent, with keyboards the benefit is instead of typical mechanical switches, and it doesn't matter if they're linear, tactile, or clicky, they all work the same. They're either on, off. Hall Effect allows you full analog control. In fact, their stock switches have 0 to 4 millimeters with 0 0.1 increments. And the huge benefit of this isn't just that Hall Effect switches are super durable because mechanical switches and keyboards are generally very durable and also very inexpensive to swap out and not a big pain in the ass if your board's hot swappable. Their software backs it up in such a way to where you have some real damn near game busting, almost cheating features such as rapid trigger and rappy snappy, which is super fun to say. Rappy snappy is got to be one of the sickest and coolest features in the game. Basically lets you roll people's ankles because instead of, see I'm not even doing it right there, instead of a typical keyboard where you have to lift off A or D, whichever direction you're strafing to, maybe doing a little corner peek on somebody, right? With Rappy Snappy, you can keep your finger held down on, we'll say, D here, and then whichever key is pressed down further, boop, boop, 
Boop. You got to do the sound effects or else you're not landing your shots. That's going to overwrite the previous input. It's a fantastic system and no other manufacturer might take that back. Razer has now done it to a degree. Rappy Snappy, the OG from Wooting still works better. Something I do need to mention is some of these features are starting to be banned in competitive play. A lot of games that make a big, almost unfair advantage of these features, such as Valorant, where the movement can really be kind of busted with Rappy Snappy and Rapid Trigger. Some games, like Escape from Tarkov, you probably won't even notice because character movement has such a weighty inertia to it. You're a troop with a bunch of gear on you, and this is real, motherfucker. But if you're playing something a little bit more arcadey, like uh, Apex Legends or Call of Duty or something, where you can turn on a dime and you know you're doing crazy movements, you're gonna find yourself doing some stuff with a Wooting or Razor that seems like you should not be able to to do that. I think I've pretty much summarized the strength of Wooting, besides the fact that it's a wholesome group of dudes that creates these things, they have the best software support with features like Rapid Trigger and Rappy Snappy, which are only made possible by their use of Hull Effect switches, which are more durable than mechanical switches and give you a full range of motion from 0 to 4 millimeters. Uzi 9 millimeter the typing experience. It has got to be one of the best out of the box bases when it comes to minimal flex and just feeling like a good typing experience with the exception of the switches being completely analog. I personally hate linear switches for typing. I'm more of a tactile bump kind of guy. I don't need the auditory click, although I don't mind it because I usually have a headset on. I got to have that little tactile bump in there to let me know that I just actuated my switches. And with a linear switch, you don't get that. And with these Hall Effect switches, which feel like a linear, you don't get that either. Although you can set them to actuate at such a shallow millimeter of press that it doesn't even matter. That that was a mute point I just mentioned because you just sneeze on a switch and it's actuating. And that is why I personally recommend doing what I did. I'm not going to tell you to do exactly the bridge jump off that I just did, but why don't you do the same swan dive 360 that I just did. Buy their boards, their modules as they call them. So you get the board with the software to back it up. The hardware and the software to go with it. And then you can source your own Hall Effect switches. You cannot drop in typical mechanical switches to these boards. It will not recognize the switches as a different communication protocol. But their stock switches are actually so good, I would just recommend picking those up as well. They have a couple of options. I picked up these Johnny B. Goods on screen here. And when you pick up that board from Wooting, you are getting a four-year warranty, 30-day return in case you don't want it, and you can cancel the order at any time. Then you go into the third-party aftermarket, even Amazon, that's where I bought my case. Get yourself a nice wood or aluminum case to drop that sucker into. And by taking the board, the PCB, which they like to call the module, which has the software backup for those features like Rappy Snappy and Rapid Trigger, dropping that into a solid case with some sweet feeling keycaps, typing in the first couple of keystrokes Wooting software felt so nice. Wootility is the name of the application, the software. I am also happy to report that this does have Mac support as I will be using this board on a MacBook Pro that I use to edit and then also my Windows gaming PC, of course. Go ahead and put that in downloads, please. So we are going to initialize our 60HE and we're also going to hide this intro because we've seen it once. Cool little video. We're going to do the initial update. It is required, but you can use this keyboard to type and probably even game right out of the box. But but if you want those gaming features like Rappy Snappy and Rapid Trigger, you want to make sure you're up to date with the latest firmware. It, it, it is plugged in. I don't know what the hell the problem is. I'm going to step back and let it do its thing. Okay, cool. Uh, customize the device. You just put a little light on my face. So this is individual key RGB lighting and you can dim or disable the entire board. So I'm going to go static teal. Just keep things simple. 30% brightness. Oh, okay. Huh? That's cool. So you just kind of paint it over the buttons. Meow. What's fast too? Oh, yep. And my keyboard's all teal now. First tab is going to be color, which is your RGB over here in performance. Here you can select the millimeters of actuation, how far you have to press the buttons, not only to actuate the keys, but you can also set a bottom out point as well. Advanced keys, you can set Rappy Snappy, DKS, Mod Tap, bunch of other unique software features to individual keystrokes or the entire keyboard. When you turn on Rapid Trigger, and it says right here, all keys, or you can do it per key. So if you just want the WAS, your movement keys or something, you can adjust how far down in millimeters you need to press a button before Rapid Trigger engages. So that's really cool. Tachyon mode, again, when you turn that 
on. It does show you that this is going to be changing to, to one milliseconds and it explains what the hell is tachyon mode, brother. And then switching my face over to here, I just moved downtown, click save to keyboard to make these changes take effect. Remap is going to be just that. Each key can have a single keystroke or macros, which is going to be over here in advanced keys. You do have stock profiles. You have rapid, racing, and mixed movement, which I think is fantastic that these are already so well thought out. They know their unique features and that people are going to be using them in gameplay. So there's profiles already ready to slap the competition around. You can also create custom profiles here. You can name them, duplicate them, delete them, etc. And if you want to take a step back, you can basically do control Z and oh, it actually is control Z on the keyboard or tap this button and it'll undo your previous what you just did. Also like the applications called Wootility. You can full size this application. You can drag and resize it, snap it to the sides. Windows optimization is very good and it runs just as smooth on Mac. I want to go ahead and show you what I bought for the build over here. These keycaps I bought on Amazon, of course. These are from Womier and they have this sick topographical pattern. I looked for one that was similar to this purple and teal to match, well, you know, the whole theme going on here. But this white will do. I do not like that little pattern on the space bar. I didn't see that in the picture, but it, it's there. Hopefully these feel good on the fingertips. That's more important for the typing experience. And then these three I did purchase from Wooting, and this was purchased on Amazon, this 60% aluminum case, which has these pretty cool looking feet to incline it at an angle. My stand for my microphone just broke, so I'm going freehand. Definitely not ideal. There's a quick start QR code, which I love to see, and then you have a postcard, like a travel greeting card. Your family, something that your aunt would send you. A little cutout for your finger to get in there to lift out your module. In that baggie was your gasket and the sound dampening foam, and then you have another gasket or plate in there, and your entire module is held in with some laser cut foam, so a premium presentation. Talk about the team being wholesome and cool. Look at the wording on this back of this postcard here. Thanks for your support and contribution. If you ever need a favor, write it down here and send the postcard to us. We'll do our best to make it happen. The module itself also does come with a cable. I didn't know that. That's part of the reason I bought a detachable cable, which I still would have done anyway, because the one I bought looks way cooler than this one, which it, th this does not go with my color theme or setup. Needs noting that a standard 60 HE comes with a black and yellow take control cloth hand strap, which there's a big aftermarket for those, but they always come black and yellow. Cosmetically, the modular board looks so sick. Each key has a, you're never going to see this, but <laughs> except for when you're assembling the board, but my God, that attention to detail looks absolutely sick. Also the ass end or back half also looks great. I'd show it to you, but again, I'm holding my microphone over here. And these pads over here are optional. I'm going to be overlaying the instructions that popped up when I scanned that QR code as they are incredibly helpful. And if you don't have a DIY bone in your body, it's going to grab your bone and make sure that you're able to get the keyboard to completion because it's super easy. It literally handholds you and tells you, hey, these are north facing LED switches. You can only put them in that way. The switches I did source directly from Wooting because I really like these switches. These are Leaker or Lecker. Somebody correct me if I'm doing it wrong. L60s over here. Here, and of course they are completely linear as all of these Hall Effect joints are. And this is going to be between the 40 and 60 cool Nike key forces with a travel distance of zero to four millimeters like we covered on the summary. Assembly was freakishly simple by following the instructions in the QR code. You remove the screws in the case, drop the foam piece at the bottom. I actually double stacked both of the included rubber pieces since there was already a gasket pre-installed on the module itself. Probably shouldn't be foam exposed right there. I cut that out to where you can see the bottom of the board and then these should be magnetized absolutely so i'm going to stick on some kind of magnets these should have came with some kind of a stick on magnet close up of these glorious teal switches granted you're never going to see them these are north facing leds and there's only one way to put these in that is the right way i actually tried to push them in the wrong way not too hard but just to see if it would work and it doesn't let you slot them this is the final product with all the switches in the module luckily there is a second space bar and the second tray which does not have the black logo so we'll be installing that one there is an issue on the space bar as this kit is meant for mechanical keyboard switches and these are Hall Effect switches and this kit is kind of universal, not meant for a wooting keyboard so I did have to make some ghetto modification with this set of snip snips just cutting down the plastic prong and sure enough the space bar works fine now. Unplugging the keyboard that I happen to have sitting on my desk which isn't my usual daily driver. I'm actually going to use my existing coiled cable, not the one I bought from wooting as that'll be used in an upcoming keyboard build. RGB roars to life with an effect that I'm going to disable, but I'm proud to say schwacking the Windows key and testing all the buttons, it worked.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Spaghetti o. So I guess that was in software. I just restored it to the default. You go to settings, go to bibbity hibbity keyboard settings, reset all keyboard settings. But it looked like these keys were not working at all, but that's because I was in a racing mode apparently. But now I can type like a normal person again. I'm gonna go and give you a little typing test. And keep in mind, these switches are not greased, lubricated. So you actually don't need to lubricate these switches because they come pre lubed from wooting. And I think they do a phenomenal job. But if you want that thiggity thock, then you can lube your switches and there is a little tutorial from wooting. I didn't even use any kind of additional dampening. I just used the foam pads that were included. So what I'm trying to say is the board sounds good in my opinion, but it can only get better from here. There's so much more that you can do, but what was included in the kit was all I personally need to feel satisfied with the sound and feeling. As for the stock 60 HE Plus, you have the same pride and attention to detail in their packaging with the postcard letting you know that they're still love in this product. You have the cloth grab strap handle. If you don't like black and yellow, you don't have to attach the sucker. There's a huge aftermarket. This thing's gloss black, which will go with anybody's theme or setup. And there's also a USB-C cable in here to match that cloth grab strap. That's it. That, that, that's it. Build quality on a standard right out of the box. 60 HE plus is not bad by any means. However, this is an all plastic base. Cosmetically don't like this little overhang awning design that they have. But I will say after testing probably about a dozen pre-built keyboards on this channel this one does feel and sound the best right out of the box but it does leave a lot to be desired Neither of the space bars really sound good, but that's because this, you saw the ghetto shit I had to do on this one. So in conclusion, a stock 60 HE Plus is the best gaming keyboard that you can buy. So this is a pretty simple verdict. If you want a good ready to run keyboard that is incredibly rewarding for gaming, has the best software features like Rappy Snappy and Rapid Trigger that's going to leave the competition triggered, you can just buy a 60 HE Plus and it's going to do the deed for you. You're also going to have a solid customer support system in place by a team that actually gives a damn. But if you want a keyboard that looks feel and sounds different than everybody else's, you might want to consider buying the module individually and then sourcing the case, switches, and keycaps and making a one-off custom to really fit your needs and your setup, your desk. But I just don't really foresee a scenario, a situation realistically where somebody starts clickety-clacking on a wooting keyboard and is upset or let down. It's well exceeded my expectations. That's the best testimonial I can give you. Wooting is linked in the description below alongside an exclusive discount for my audience. I do strongly recommend checking them out if you are on the market for a new keyboard and I will see you stallions and stallionettes tomorrow or whenever I see you. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers so this information will reach and assist them as well. Much like the back of the TV, I've got plugs for all of my socials down there in the description below. And your wallet will greatly thank you if you check the description because there are exclusive discounts on a ton of products including controllers, control freaks, keyboards, mouse pads, clothes, and energy drinks. And keep in mind that you the viewer keep this channel running the more stallions and stallionettes trotting around the stable the better so molly wop that subscribe button like it owes you money and we'll have the same amount of fun tomorrow